Time is your most precious resource in life. When you start to think about life, you don't have to believe the lie that you still have enough time, such that you would come to a place of accepting procrastination to rob you of your purpose and of fulfilling your destiny. Because a lot of people, especially young people, come to a place where they feel like I still have enough time ahead of me. And because of this lie, they delay on walking into their purpose because they feel like they want to enjoy life they want to wild out and then let them use this youthful time and do all those things so that when they are old they can now focus on life and i'm like is that not the devil trying to deceive you is that not the enemy trying to rob you paul had to advise young timothy because being in a culture whereby when a young person stands up to do something people will start discriminating People will start criticizing and tell the person, how old are you? What do you know? Paul said to him, don't let anyone think less of you because you are young. Be an example to all believers in what you say, in the way you live, in your love, your faith, your purity. Paul didn't tell Timothy, be an example to young believers because you are a young person. He said to all believers, which means there's no age gap for you to live an exemplary life as a Christian. There's no age gap for you to be a role model as a Christian. Your life should reflect Christ and that doesn't have an age gap attached to it. If you want to attach age gap, you would say wait till you get old before you can then become a role model. So that we would say you've lived for so so amount of years. No, it's not like that in this kingdom. As you are where you are, be a role model. And through this, you would not let anyone despise you or try to shame you for following God for serving God, for doing what you are supposed to do because having to give God your time is the best thing you are supposed to do in life. Instead of thinking that the world way, which is they feel like when you are young, you are supposed to enjoy yourself, go out clubbing and all of these things. They feel like that's the right way, but that's not the right way in God's eyes. God has a purpose and plan for you and you don't have enough time to even carry these things out and time is so precious. To you you do not have enough time the other thing i want to talk about in this regard is the fact that nobody wants to die everybody wants to live but the question is what do you want to live for do you just want to live and count time i've lived for so amount of years or do you want to live and leave an imprint on life which is your life as an impact and that is the life god is calling you to live we all love the psalms i shall not die i shall live but the other part of the psalm tells why you want to live to declare the works of the Lord. Let your life declare the works of the Lord. Let your life tell the story of how faithful God is. Let your life tell the story of the plans of God concerning you, which means you have prepared yourself to live out this plan. The worst thing that can happen to you is that you live and not die but then your life is of no effect. You are just existing. Which means the enemy has successfully robbed you. And Jesus truly said, a thief has only one thing in mind. He wants to steal, slaughter and destroy, but I have come to give you everything in abundance. More than you expect, life in its fullness until you overflow. The enemy's number one purpose is to distract you. Once it distracts you, it takes away your focus, it robs you, of that focus, it robs you of your purpose, it makes sure that you are living an anxious life in anxiety and depression, whereby you are pulled in different directions. And once it can get you in this place, it has robbed you. And this thief have come into the hearts of the children of God and he has robbed them of their joy through comparison. He has robbed them of their peace through competition. He has robbed them of so many things that God has given them which they would live life abundantly and you don't have to allow the devil to rob you because every time the devil robs you of your focus it delays you because he's robbing you of your time your precious resource every time you find this act of the enemy you have to resist him and know that your time is a precious resource in your life and for you to get to become all that god has planned for you